Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. He's here to help. It's okay. Number 10, Pulp Fiction. Hey, kids. How you boys doing? Detailing various criminal stories in LA, Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction is the antithesis of a G rating. Upon its release, it became an overnight sensation. But within the first minutes of the film, we get snippets of drugs and violence, immediately indicating that the viewing experience is not one meant for kids. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. <laughs> Inspired by pulp magazines and crime novels, the movie isn't just violent. Sexually explicit scenes and displays of brutally graphic murders, like an accidental bullet in the face, make it one that's hard for people of all ages to digest. Needless to say, the exhibited behaviors weren't exactly anything parents wanted their children to witness. I'll see you guys around. Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids. Number 9. Mortal Kombat Kang, you will be first. Let Mortal Kombat begin! A fantasy martial arts action film that turned into a cult classic, Mortal Kombat was based on the titular video game franchise that was all the rage in the 90s. Considering the gory and violent nature of the video game kids couldn't get enough of, it's no surprise that parents were hesitant to greenlight their consumption of the movie. Even if it isn't nearly as intense as the game, the film still has its fair share of content that isn't kid-friendly. Vehement use of the word bullshit and a dose of physical brutality earned it a PG-13 rating. Even more kid-unfriendly is the scene where Liu Kang's brother has his soul consumed. Pretty traumatizing if you ask us. Fatality. Number 8. Showgirls As the title suggests, Showgirls is all things dirty dancing and sexual, mixed with some explicit language and violence. At the center of the story is Nomi, a woman trying to become a showgirl. I wrote this number. It's about you. You don't know anything about me. I know you're a private dancer. While shame around this line of work has diminished a lot today, parents in the 90s likely weren't of the same mind. Plus, during Nomi's pursuit, Fighting, arrests, assault, and graphic nudity are regular occurrences. So there I was dancing butt naked for five minutes. I mean, my poor partner. The erotic drama was the first NC-17 film to have been widely released in mainstream theaters, prompting the placement of extra staff to ensure no minors were sneaking in to view it. All of this meant that Showgirls was a movie 90s kids had a hard time getting their hands on. Will you kid these kids out of here. Number 7. Gremlins This black comedy horror didn't initially seem too horrific, but those who watched it can attest to its degree of scariness. You know, it's funny, the new ones aren't like Gizmo. The one with the stripes seems to be the leader. You know what? At first glance, the furry Mogwai character seems like a harmless pet gifted to a boy at Christmas time. But that couldn't be more wrong. The creature winds up spawning other havoc wreaking monsters who are absolute terrors, despite their small stature. With a fictional and arguably satirical premise, one might advocate that this movie gets a pass. However, Spielberg did explore more adult themes with depictions of greed, gluttony, and death. No matter how cute or not scary the pint-sized monsters were, parents understandably erred on the side of caution. <laughs> Number 6. The Silence of the Lambs Compared to Gremlins and pretty much any other scary film, The Silence of the Lambs is undoubtedly terrifying. The classic psychological horror we all know today was uber popular even upon its release, making its viewing a common ask among kids of all ages. You might understand why the answer was often no. On what basis would they reject him? Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence 
I bet he wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. Being able to watch a young FBI trainee try to hunt down a serial killer who skins his female victims requires a strong, mature mind and a strong stomach. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. There's a whole lot to digest in the film. Disturbing violence, psychological trauma, endless cannibalism, etc. So if any of you 90s kids were permitted to watch this one, you're definitely in the minority. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Number 5. Scream I need your attention now, kids. Due to the recent events that have occurred effective immediately, all classes are suspended until further notice. Bringing much-needed life back to the slasher genre, Scream was highly anticipated and didn't disappoint in terms of delivering the scares. It was, and still is, an iconic flick following a group of high school students who are targeted by a masked murderer dubbed Ghostface. Discussions of assault, conspiracy theories, framing, as well as death and its impacts are all serious themes the film tackles, even if satire is an incorporated factor. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Essentially, the film is a cyclical killing spree of a rampant monster stalking kids, crushing necks, slashing throats, and invoking horror in an all too relatable town. We don't blame parents for banning this one. You think you did it? 20 years ago, I would have said not a chance. But these kids today, damn if I know. Number four, South Park. Bigger, longer, and uncut. Times have changed. Our kids are getting worse. They won't obey their parents. They just want to fight and curse. To no one's surprise, the South Park movie is just as unfiltered and unapologetic as the beloved TV series. Actually, even more so. If parents were aware of what South Park the show was all about, they certainly wouldn't have green-lighted the film for their kids. Well, the film is R-rated and it's not intended for children. Oh, but of course children are gonna see it! Can I finish? The fact is that we Canadians are quite surprised by you your outrage. You just don't care! Can I finish? This is very much an animated adult comedy. The movie focuses on themes of scapegoating and censorship. Concepts we probably wouldn't have even been able to comprehend as kids anyway. But still, the hilarity stemming from blatant satirization and parodies definitely added to its appeal. Too bad extreme profanity and dirty humor raised too many red flags. Just remember what the MPAA says. Horrific, deplorable violence is okay as long as people don't say any naughty words. That is what this war is all about. What? Number 3. The Blair Witch Project Reviving the equally compelling and creepy found footage format, this independent supernatural horror made for a freaky viewing experience, regardless of age. In the Black Hills of Maryland, student filmmakers investigate the local Blair Witch legend, which results in their disappearances. We're here now, hungry and cold. And 90s kids likely tried to push the but it's not gory argument in their favor, but they were really just kidding themselves. You've got to be kidding me. Though not gruesome like some other films of the same genre, The Blair Witch Project is still eerie enough to have kids sleeping with their lights on. I hear him. I hear him. I hear you. Number 2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Riding off the success of The Terminator, this science fiction action sequel had high expectations to meet and a very eager audience. Cool. Well, Terminator. <sighs> you okay, kid? Take a hike, Bozo. As the world-famous titular character, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a favorite that all moviegoers wanted to watch. But kids were seldom allowed, and understandably so. Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. He's here to help. It's okay. Thanks to recurring scenes of graphic content depicting a nuclear holocaust and war between robots and humans, the film inevitably earned an R rating in the US. 
In addition to violence, themes of family and humanity, masculinity and femininity, and American industry and individualism are explored, making the premise that much more geared towards adults. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Number 1. It. Hi, Georgie. Aren't you going to say hello? Based on Stephen King's titular novel, the original 1990 It centers around a monstrous clown who preys on children and exploits their deepest held fears. I'm every nightmare you ever had. I am your worst dream come true. I'm everything you ever were afraid of. Since kids were the targeted victims of the Predator, any children who managed to watch this one behind their parents' backs were bound to be left traumatized and petrified of sewers and sinks. Pennywise was so scary that he still lives on in horror film infamy, with the character being reprised in the 2017 It. Unless parents wanted their kids to have nightmares back in the 90s, this classic bloody horror was an absolute no-go. I am eternal child. I am the eater of worlds and of children. And you are next. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.